So one of the things we had to do now that we've got Pearl is change our vehicle. So we purchased this Holden Commodore station wagon and uh, fitted it out for her to uh, travel in the back. So uh, let's go and have a look. The first thing was installing a dog barrier. Then there was a matter of adding a safety belt mechanism. Now for the instalment of all the bits and pieces to go into the back of the station wagon. The first piece was a rear bumper protector. Now this here was just velcroed onto the, the floor and it took me a couple of attempts to get this exactly right where I wanted it nice and even. So I potted it around for a while, eventually I got it right. Next was the addition of a rubber mat floor. Now this floor had a honeycomb pattern on it, which meant that if anything got spilt, it wouldn't run all over the vehicle. Next to be installed is Pearl's blanket. Now this is her travel blanket. She has two of these, but wherever she sees them, that's where she'll go and lay down. And the final piece to be installed is her sort of like mattress thing and it's, um, it's very good, it's nice and soft and she can go and sit on that. So that's, that's how we load the back of the uh, station wagon, all set ready for her to go. And just in case you're wondering, we are not getting rid of the um, chev. This is just as a backup if we can't use the chev and vice versa. So, um, and um, yeah, so we're not getting rid of the chev. So put that issue to rest. I'm shaking that table. Um, right, so the next thing is to get this camper ready to go to get the box painted and that'll finish the outside. So I'm quite pleased with that. All right, let's get on with it. Or oh, I'll show you how close that when I back the camper into the drive of all the scaffolding, I've only got a few inches left and I don't want to hit the camper at all, not with it being newly painted. So have a look at this. So here we go, that's how much room I have, only a few inches. And uh, the green material you see hanging in this next clip is just to protect the back of the camper should I hit the ladder upright. But yeah, not a lot of room. Well, as I mentioned with all this construction going on behind me, there won't be a lot in the way of um, video footage. So, um, and this is probably going to carry on until I'm hoping at some time in October, um, we should be able to get access to the caravan and the cars and what have you and start doing things again. So in the meantime, I'm sorry, but content's going to be a little bit um, slim on the surface. But however, uh, next fortnight, I'm going to 
track down uh, some very interesting articles that um, you might find interesting. One of them is uh, we're going to have a look at the oldest uh, camper van. And another one is there's a new development which is currently being tested which will change the way we tow caravans and trailers probably forever. Um, and this is being developed right now. So um, stay tuned for that one and um, we'll uh, see you then. In the meantime, short and sweet, but that's it from us this week and uh, see you again soon. Bye for now.